With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let us start with our question. In this question, what is given that there is a chain of 125 length, uh, is 1.25 meter long and it is having a mass of 2 kg with the ends fastened together. Now it is set for rotating at 50 revolution per second. So this 50 revolution per second, that is the frequency because in one second it is uh, carrying out 50 revolution which is the frequency. We need to find what is the centripetal force on each link. Okay, what we need to find the centripetal force on each link. So let us denote the number of link to be capital M. Capital N, this value is given as to be 125. What we need to find, we need to find centripetal force. That means force per unit uh, on each link. That means the total force divided by the number of link. This is the quantity which we need to find. Now what is the expression for centripetal force? So centripetal force is mr omega square. This is the uh, case of the centripetal force. Now initially we would be having a long chain of the length of 1.25. Now we have converted this into a circle. So we just convert it into a circle. Okay. Now there would be several. So initially there would be several chains like this. Oh, sorry, uh, this links here, and this would be the final. Now if we connect this initial and the final link, so it would be forming a circle. So we just connect it like this. So this is the initial. Let's say. And let's say this is our final. We have connected it and there would be several such links between them. Now, clearly we can see that the length of the chain would now become the circumference of the circle. So we can say that our L, the length of the chain would be equals to 2 pi r, the circumference of the ring of radius r. Now from this expression, we can calculate the value of the radius. So it would be L divided by 2 pi and L value is 1.25. If we divide it by 2 pi, this would be the radius. Now we know the we know the mass, we know the radius. What would be omega? Omega is not given. We have been given with the frequency, but we know the relationship between omega and frequency. Omega is 2 pi f. Now what is the frequency which is given? It is 50. So 2 pi into 50. So this would be equals to 100 pi radian per second. Now if we put the value, then we can get the value of f. Now if we divide it by 125, we get the value of f by n. So we just calculate the value of f divided by n directly. So it would be equals to m r omega square divided by n. What is the value of the mass which is given? 2. What is the radius which we have calculated? 1.25 divided by 2 pi. What is the value of omega? Omega is 100 pi. So it would be 100 square because it is omega square. So it would be 100 square pi square. And whole thing we need to divide it by n which is 125. Now clearly we can see that this 2 and this 2 would be cancelled. 1 power of pi would be cancelled. And if we give 100 to 125 then this could cancel 125 this with 1 power it would get cancelled so it would be finally it would turn out to be 100 pi now what is the value of pi pi is pi value is 3.14 so f divided by n this would be equals to 100 multiplied by 3.14 so this would be equals to uh, this 314 newton per per uh, this link okay so which option is the correct option 314 newton C is our correct option. Hope you understood the solution. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.